Hello, I'm Dr. Ten Kong Yong from International Specialist Eye Center. I specialize in the front of the eye, and today I'm going to talk to you about a condition called keratoconus. Now, keratoconus is a condition resulting in thinning in the front of the eye, known as the cornea. The cornea is a structure where it's normally transparent and it focuses the light source into the uh, into, the, into your eye. So the cornea is usually a rather round shape and I just use an orange as an example. So this is a pretty round shaped orange but if the front of the eye becomes very thin and the cornea becomes distorted, it becomes conical shape. So this is a kind of a conical shape uh, orange and that results in uh, poor vision, a distortion and as well as photophobia, also known as uh, glaring of the, of the, of the sunlight. The so keratoconus condition normally starts around the first and second decade of life and it, progression usually uh, uh, stops when you reach mid-30s or late-30s. So during this period of time when the progression occurs, the cornea can become very thin and you require further management. When you come to the clinic, usually we do a refraction, just check the power of your glasses, as well as the undergo this uh, special uh, test known as the corneal topography. The corneal topography maps the shape of your corneal curvature as well as to measure the thickness of your cornea. After that, if it's mild cases, we can prescribe either simple glasses or in more severe cases, we go for hard contact lens. There is a treatment uh, known as corneal collagen cross-linking. The idea is to, to strengthen the cornea. Uh, we remove the front of the eye, the, the skin layer, the epithelial layer, followed by intensive eye drops, which is based on um, a vitamin B, followed by intensive uh, blue light source to harden the, 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 the cornea. The idea is not to to reverse the condition, but to prevent it from getting worse. Following the hardening of the cornea, then we can prescribe either glasses or contact lens to improve the vision. In very severe cases, uh, patients may need to undergo corneal transplant. A procedure known as deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty, it involves removing the front 90% of your cornea and replace it with a donor. We usually get our donor tissue from the US and the corneal transplant is a much uh, complicated procedure involving, usually involving uh, a, a fairly major operation in removing the front 90% of the cornea and replace it with a donor tissue. Following the corneal transplant, the risk of rejection has to be noted. It's usually is very low, uh, less than 5% but the patient usually requires long-term follow-up and eye drops. The cornea graft takes some time to stabilize. Usually, the rehabilitation can take up to one year or even longer because the cornea is a relatively avascular structure and it doesn't heal as fast as a normal tissue. After one year, we usually check for glasses and improve the vision uh, further. Patients with keratoconus usually requires long-term or if not lifelong follow-up and it's very important that you uh, uh, attend your clinic or your, or your, your, your eye doctors on a timely basis. Thank you.